After having a sincere intention, you have to be humble. You have to be real and deal with the reality of things and not just the, the cosmetics of it. And being real and humble means you have to humble yourself in order to gain knowledge from your teachers. Knowledge runs away from the high and mighty and arrogant person just like water runs away from the high and mighty mountain. Water ain't gonna go uphill. It's only going downhill. Likewise, knowledge is not going to be achieved until you humble yourself. The Westerners, we have this humongous feelings of entitlement. We deserve. I rate. We don't rate anything. We have to earn it. That's what we have to do. We have to earn it. And if you show up to somebody who has knowledge and you're arrogant and you say, well, where's the sheikh? Why is he late? I was the the, the the system is this. Be prepared to wait for your teachers. Don't expect your teachers to wait for you because the pleasure is all yours. The opportunity to achieve knowledge is your opportunity. Yes, it's hard to find good students. It's even harder to find good teachers. A good teacher will never have a problem finding students. But good students can have problems finding good teachers. So, as a fallible M, recognize that the pleasure is all yours. You have the opportunity. The sheikh or the teacher, he has a different opportunity that is affecting him, but we're talking about from the side of the talibul ilm, he should be happy that he has that opportunity to gain knowledge. And so what we want to recognize here is that we take from people who have recorded knowledge. Write that term down or memorize it in your memory banks, recorded knowledge. And recorded knowledge is those things that they have been followed down the mutun, the texts that come from Sheikh al-Bukhari and those before him and those famous ulama of the past and they're teaching those texts today, one after the other. See, because the da'wah of the Muslims was the same up until 1991. After the Gulf War, or the beginning of the first Gulf War, the da'wah of the people became separated. And the Muslims in our generation started to divide and call to many different things, all of them calling to the Sunnah. How do you stick to the one that's on the truth and not get wrapped off on all those different Routes that are calling themselves fallible in, but are not leading to knowledge. First of all, you have to understand, knowledge is not what's memorized, rather knowledge is what is beneficial.